Good morning, team. It's Thursday morning, about 10 minutes to late, April the 2nd. By the time you view this, it may be good afternoon to you. It may be good evening to you. It may be good night to you, but good day to you nonetheless. Uh, as, as we've been dealing with this pandemic, there's, uh, there's a lot of negativity around it. We're not getting to do the things that we enjoy. We're not getting to see the people that we love. Uh, there's, there's just a whole lot of negativity. We're seeing the way that it's uh, affecting, potentially affecting our pay. We're seeing the way the negative effect on our economy. Uh, there's just everybody we run up on wants to talk about COVID-19 and the effects it's having on us. And we, I believe we're concentrating on the negative aspects of it, which is, it's, it's very difficult not to do. But Saturday morning as I was driving down a, a road that I, that I normally drive down on Saturday mornings, uh, I, I noticed something. It was about 7.30 and, and, and I noticed people already out in the yard, out in the yard uh, breaking leaves out in the yard just messing around. I saw about three folks on that one little road that were outside, and it was, it was somewhat unusual. Well, I went and did what I had to do, and it was about three hours later that I was coming back home down that same road, and I saw families outside, uh, moms and dads and kids that were all playing. Now, it wasn't at every house, but I, I did see more of that than is typical. And the things that I've noticed is uh, we're, we're so busy as Americans that maybe dad will take one child and he'll go to a, to a ball game or a ball practice on a Saturday and mom will take the other child and go to another ball game or go to a dance recital or a ballet lesson or, or whatever and the families are, are kind of divided at that time. But with what we have going on right now, those, those practices, those games, those dance recitals uh, have, been, have been canceled for the most part. And, and we also see um, shopping centers closed. We see restaurants closed, carry out only. So, so we're kind of forced to spend time with family, which is a good thing. I'm hearing more and more stories of, in Thad's video last night, he talked about after supper one night, playing cards for a couple of hours with his family. Um, I, I heard another teammate talking about playing board games with her family. Uh, a friend of mine who has an electrical contracting company, uh, one day he went and picked his dad up and his son was out of school because of the COVID uh, and, and, and he took him to work with him and, and they got to spend the day together at work. And, and that's something that that kid will remember most likely uh, until he's an old man. One of these days, he may tell his grandkids about the pandemic of 2020 and how he and his dad and his grandfather went to work and spent the day together. So as we go through this very difficult time in our country, um, let, let's use this time as, um, as effectively as we can. Let's, get the, let's ring the most positive out of this that we possibly can. And, and you know, as we, as we talk about family, and developing those bonds uh, that I've spoke about a little bit this morning. Who's, who's, whose face do you see on this coin? Generally, it's the face of that family. I'm getting videos of my grandkids playing out in the yard instead of being on their cell phones. Um, I'm not getting to see everybody I love. But let, let's take this time and, and put those cell phones down. Let's take this time and play with those kids. Let's take the time and put those cell phones down and listen. That's where I have a problem. Let's listen to our spouses. Let's have meaningful conversation during this difficult time. On the back of this coin, it says grow, expand, and live. And not to take anything away from the original message, but how easy is it? to apply that grow, expand, and live to family values. Man, those three words lend themselves to developing those relationships, to growing those relationships, to expanding them. And there's a country music song that says, loving is living. That's the last thing on the coin. It says, live our culture. Well, that culture can also apply within, within our family. As we get through this thing, and we reflect on it. 
Let's see the positive things that come out of this pandemic. The negative things will always be there. But let's let's take this let's let's take that time to reflect and look at time spent with family and growing those relationships and becoming closer as a family unit. <clears throat> Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to listen to this video. God bless you and have a safe day.